Hi, this is Brian Brew. How are you? And today is an amazing day because today we are doing a game on one of my favourite games, Remade. Theme Hospital has been changed to Two Point Hospital. So let's see if I can actually just go in here and we'll start a new game. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Lots Our of precisely time. calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even <laughs> been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. <laughs> Just infection is no laughing That's matter. Of fun. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand wow, in the way. Wow, place. You deserve the best. So join us <laughs> at Two Point <laughs> Hospital. We're open for new staff, yeah. new patients, and a new you. That's for me five minutes Can into I the game. That's for sure. I'm teeing off at three. <laughs> right. Like I say, is it? I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. This is Hog Sport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Okay, can I click on it? Right. Uh, begin your career as a hospital administrator to learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Let's go! Now that I quickly touched the surface of this game and I was so happy to see that it is very much like the old team hospital. So, yeah. First thing I'll we'll do the reception patient, we'll head there, okay. Right, so, so they're going to come through the door, they want to get a reception, so items, a reception, let's say, uh, let's just swivel it again. Go to left mouse button drag. Or send makes. Ah, that's easier. Right, let's get as close to the front door as possible. Or oh, no, actually put it a bit there. Right. So let's hire a receptionist. Dotty Mianis! Okay, let's be a cheapskate booger and we'll hire him. There you go, my son. Get onto that seat, get started. Right, with the GP. Let's put the GP's office. So, let's um, keep this kind of front area cordoned off. What we'll do is we'll build it over there. Right, that's the basic size, is it? Let's have a door there. Let's have his desk against there. Filing cabinet. There. That is. Then click the tick. So we need to go and hire a doctor, I presume. Yep. Let's hire a doctor. Good patients, please stop coughing. <laughs> right, okay, what's that about? Let's get a wee exclamation there. Increase diagnostic skills. Yeah, we'll take her because we're getting her the cheapest as well. So hire. Drop her in there. Good news on hospitals they open for business. Patients start to arrive after the incident reception of the sent the GP for diagnosis. So I'm going to skip ahead here actually. Uh, zoom in and out, yep. Down a little bit of patient. Hello, what's wrong with you? Open Ox, yeah, good. Come on, hello. Uh, 
580. We did lose the first page of the GPS sent you a message. You have to look. Ah crap, what happened? Forgot to go into quiet mode. I'll look at the message in the list of the bottom right. Looks like we'll need to build a pharmacy and a treatment. Right. So we'll be the pharmacy. Let's put the pharmacy down here, I think. Makes a logical sense. Uh, pharmacy. You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth. On Two Point Radio. Welcome back to your favourite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. Okay. So they get dropped off. <laughs> I like it. Such a happy game. Oh. <laughs> right, we want a couple of benches, I think. Let's just keep some of that. Stack machine. Right, so we need something to maintain the equipment. There you go, mate. Right, we need some bins. Uh, we need a whole lot of stuff. Right, so that's working okay now, but we need to get some um, items. Bin. Slack machine. Wait to say the doctor's door. Place two phallic slack machines. I would leave one in there. I have one in there. Chances will be called to the repair machine that's maintenance level fills below 50. You can also request that a janitor repairs it. People have a support to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure hospital and smell. Patients will get bored. Thus, they're hungry all the time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks, and a comfy seat. That is Buck while I was talking. When they're between appointments, if they become unhappy, they will leave to go to another hospital. So, we don't want that. Where's he going? That's the Johnny. Right, place one leaflet stand. Okay, we want leaflet stand, yes, we do. Right, the front door. And we want a drinks machine. Uh, did I not do that? That was a snacks machine. Right. right, if you want to pick up an item, hover over it and then click and hold the left mouse button or click and drag to quickly pick it up. Must admit, this is looking very nice. Right, staff energy and break, staff get tired as they work, obviously they're going to break. Staff room will help them to relax and return to work energised. Drinks and snacks help them keep happy too. If you make a room larger and fill it with interesting energy, it'll be okay. okay. Fair enough. Holistics so, is apparently going to open another of its nature communes for sick room. people with more sense than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. Ha! <laughs> Very good. Right, build a staff room. In your face, staff room done. Staff will head to a staff room when they're on a break and fill the room with interesting items to help them fill the fresh before the break ends. You can place a member of staff in the staff room to make them take a break. That's, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, or an work room to make them work pair. Pick up a member of staff, hover over there and hold the left mouse button. So, see you get tired yet. Still alright, but I think over a period of time we're going to want to. Here we go. Uh, ok, 
Okay, that's just telling us that we need to make sure if we've got snacks, machines and stuff, we need to um, have bins so we can pick them up. Uh, toilet. Let's build a lavy over here. Lavy is the slang word for toilet. My friends don't know. Right, let's have a cubicle there. Act 2 is plenty in it for the size of the place we are. Right. Janitors with empty bins and unblocked toilets when required. This is much better than having to sweep up litter and then our stuff. <laughs> We're hearing reports of some new illnesses in town, might be harder to diagnose. We may need to build a new diagnosis room if a GP isn't certain they will send a patient for our diagnosis room. Right, so you can see we're starting to fill up this wee space a bit. So, um, let's get a diagnosis room then. The hospital level has increased, keep expanding to attract more patients and staff. So I'm quite enjoying this so far. Right. <laughs> right, as energy is going down, so I think we might need another doctor. That's his energy. Right. Benches, plenty of seats for them to have a seat. A lot of people are getting diagnosed. There you go. Hospital level 3, we've done that. Ward unlocked, sugar. So that is proper hospital stuff. Right, ward. This is a peculiar new illness in town. Lightheadedness, we've got to do some expensive new equipment to do this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also need another GP's office and some more staff to keep a couple of things. Why is that red? I don't know, there's any space between them, do they? There you go. Right, what's can be used for diagnosis and other treatment range of illnesses? A uh, nurse is required to admit his patient. Right, let's read the nurse. Brenda Lips. Brendan Lips. Right, I, you go in there, son. Right. Hold the GP office with another one, so we let's now get that. bring you this segment, Sir Nigel Reviews. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment, Les Souffle Triste, and what a delight for the experienced palate this is. The scrambled emu eggs on pickled toast are particularly good. I give it four uh, salt doctor. chicken. Hey. I thought the hospital level has increased, keep expanding to attract more patients and staff. Uh, let's just do some more benches, I think. Then. Right. Well, the section just is away, so we need to hire somebody else there. Star rating, the two point health ministry is keen to recognise the achievements of every hospital in the country. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local 
Hey there, the hospital will be one of our officials. I'll be taking this will be great for all the time. Alright. Hey, you can Then we really need to intervene just now, just let things work through. Right, so they're still diagnosing him. There's somebody else coming in. Right. Who's that doctor? Is he having a break? Okay, the key messages. Uh, kudosh. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Bed face discovered. Doctors have discovered a new illness built face with quick lamp contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. <laughs> we'll send the patient to treatment in our ward. Excellent. So that's what's up with him. Right. Are we need another doctor? That means there's always going to be one doctor while the other one's on break. And we've got two receptionists and we've got one nurse. She's going to get fucking. Oh, he's going to get tired. There you go. He's going to get knackered in a minute. There you go. Just as soon as we say it, guys, pissed off. He's having a break. So you can go in there then. Alright. Deluxe clinic require a doctor to discover new illness, lightheadedness. Lightheaded patients are notable due to their bulbous heads. Patients seeking treatment will need a deluxe clinic in order to treat them. It will cost twenty one thousand one hundred dollars. Would you like to do what's money have I got? Ah, oh, there you go. Get patient to wait. Let's build the clinic. Deluxe clinic. Oh, check that thing out. for that, is it? Is that a doctor? Right. Uh, I think it's a nurse, isn't it? Isn't it? Is he going to walk out? Nurse cannot work. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Right. Uh, who needs to work in the end? Oh, it's a doctor. I've discovered new illness, misery guts, chronic companies due to nihilistic semicolon. We will send the patient for treatment in our pharmacy. Uh, ben the lips is ready for promotion from student nurse to junior nurse promotion. Okay. Yeah, let's promote her. We've got plenty of nurses, plenty of doctors. Plenty of drink rooms and stuff, but we do need a few more waiting areas and stuff. Right, he's been cured. This is a heart mean. Cured! Oh, there's another one. So that's number two. Of nurses, so there should be one nurse in the break room yet. Jeez, it's getting a busy wee place now. That's what I'm trying more patients and staff. <laughs> Takes off the bulb and then they make the 3D print ahead and stick it on them. <laughs> Was number three. Don't think we really need to do anything at the moment. Everything seems to be going quite well. Right, so let's just watch for our next 
There we go, there he is. Our final objective. So let's follow him through. So, go to the reception. We get told to go and see a doctor. Hopefully it doesn't have to wait too long. Two point radio. Our reporter on the field, Sally Fig Blanket, has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. As to what she was reporting right, on, so she's been told to I go see a doctor. Say, nobody tells me anything. Hello, sir. What seems to be the problem? Boom! I do have an idea. Right, so he's been diagnosed, told to go to this room up here. The Deluxe Clinic, I think it's called, isn't it? Yeah, let's watch this again, because this was hilarious. Hey. Please step in the machine, sir. <laughs> Comes along, unscrews the bulb. <laughs> That's brilliant. Chucks the bulb away. DD Gen's on you head. Where the fuck's my head? <laughs> Excellent. Dear Hospital Administrator, you've got a one star hospital. So there you go. I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, leave me a like, leave me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to keep up to date with future videos on the channel, best way to do that is to subscribe. Um, if I get a couple of likes for this, I'll do another video because I love this game. Right, but I'll see all you guys in the next video. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>